I'm here at one of the world's largest tech gatherings, Jitex Global 2024 here in Dubai. And while there are some incredible brands showing off what they're working on in this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the cool intelligence collaborative technology Huawei is working on to bring people together and help speed up AI and digitalization for industries. So come, let me show you. Okay, where is it? Okay, it's coming up ahead. So before I take you to the actual Huawei booth, I'm gonna give you a look at some of the hardware that is pivotal to some of the other features that Huawei are showcasing on their booth. And that's made up of the Huawei Idea Hub, but also the Huawei Idea Present. So if you remember back, I actually reviewed the Huawei Idea Hub, so it'll be interesting to see how things have changed since. But this has a couple of models that they are on display over here, and they're essentially all doing very similar things, but they're tweaked for different industries. So you can do projection on this, you can use it as a whiteboard. There's an artist here who's drawn a really nice picture of somebody that was standing here a few moments ago. Now all the Idea Hubs have this really, really smooth user experience. You can see here, I'm using my finger, very, very smooth. It's basically 16 milliseconds in terms of delay. And that gives you an idea when you're using something like the whiteboard, because I'm using my finger now. And if I'm gonna be using this to write on the board, there's hardly any lag whatsoever. It's such a smooth experience. Check this out, really cool feature. I can put my palm down there and it turns it into a rubber. Great for teachers. Oh, talking of teachers, I'll show you a cool feature in a moment. But um, the Idea Hub can be used for uh, as a whiteboard. It can be used for meetings, for projection. And there's also apps as well. So you can use this for a whole range of different things, including multitasking. Because the models vary slightly depending on the different industries. So for example, over here, on the Idea Hub S2, you've got a single camera, but on the ES2 Plus, you've got this larger triple camera for more details. So it might be required in an industry where you want higher definition camera as well. Now the one over here is really interesting. This is the Idea Presence, and it is absolutely huge. Like I'm in ultra wide, I have to stand back to show you how big this is, 138 inches insane this display honestly is something else look how large it looks compared to the idea hub s2 now what's interesting is there will be some industries that require this larger display think like in an auditorium in a university or if you're using this to plan or showcase different client projects is remarkable to me is the fact that look i can put my hand on this very very comfortably for a display of this size 4k like it's so cold to the touch and it's been designed that way, so it also helps to reduce the amount of energy required from this display. So it's better for the environment, essentially. Okay, this booth for Huawei is so, so big. If you look at it from different angles, there's just so many people here. One of the ways that you can use that if you're working in enterprise is something called Intelligent Campus. Now, this is an example of one of the Idea Hubs on display. This is gonna be great for conferencing, uh, particularly where you've got 4K in an enterprise setting. And a couple of features that really stand out. The first thing is you have BYOM, or bring your own meeting. If you've got a phone or you've got a PC, essentially it's seamless in terms of connecting that with this Idea Hub. So it's not like you have to disconnect, you can basically with an app, log in, and you can continue your meeting directly. So it makes it very, very useful. So this solution behind me supports 4K video conferencing, hybrid cloud conferencing, and others. And it's basically a much more collaborative experience for enterprise. So another cool implementation is in education. Check this out. They've got the Idea Hub in this space over here. Imagine this in your school or college. I really like this because before content creation, I was also doing teaching. And this side of the board here, I wish I had a setup like this because you can actually, if you have a teacher that still wants to use this, or maybe they just want to have different spaces of the board, they can use this crayon. And this will actually show up on here. You can set it up so any of the notes that are made on this side will actually show up there as well. You can save that. But more importantly, this display means that for long periods of time, teachers don't necessarily have to harm their eyesight because there is technology in here, which means that it's not gonna have a strain on the eyes. And this can be in the same way like the Idea Hub, it can be used as a whiteboard, projector, whole range of other uh, apps as well. And it's just so easy, like really, really fun, really easy to use. A couple of other features which I really like is at the top over there, you'll notice the camera and there's also a microphone. And then down here at the bottom, there are speakers. That means a teacher without having to 
where any microphone or anything like that can actually talk, it will isolate the voice and through the speakers, it will increase the sound. So if there are students at the back of the room, they'll hopefully be able to hear the teacher better. Let me know what you think of this and yeah, would you have wanted this when you were at school? So Huawei also had this section on their booth dedicated to something called Huawei eKit. Now it shows off both how the idea hub and the idea presence can be used in scenarios to help enhance the experience. Plus, uh, think about networking. So imagine you're running a hotel and you have events and conferences. The larger screens give a more immersive experience and then the combined networking features can allow for faster speeds, lower latency and more capacity. So a product like this AP673 can connect 1,024 users with 4,300 MBBS, delivering faster speeds at lower prices. And while we're also including free public cloud management via the eKit app, so essentially you can set it up yourself and with every access point, um, it's gonna make it great for small to medium-sized businesses. Let's talk to Mr. Gu now, who's the president of Huawei's intelligent collaboration domain, and ask him some questions. Hello, Mr. Gu. Hello. It's nice a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much for having me here at the booth. So I've seen the idea hub, the idea presence. I've seen the low latency, the multi-terminal collaboration. Yeah. This must have taken a lot of time and effort to do. Can you perhaps talk to me and my viewers about that? Yes. Uh, we have exploring audiovisual technology and the user experience over 30 years. Wow. And now we have over 700 global patents. In this region, the market potential is very huge. We build a complete business structure to serve this area. Huawei Intelligent Collaborations, I can see that it must have taken a long time to do yeah. this, but what makes it stand out from the competitors? Uh, I think this is a very good question. For my personal opinion, First of all, all our world-leading audiovisual technologies and uh, can provide the solutions to all kinds of conference needs in many industries, such as education, medicine, and uh, energy. Very we good. Stand, I can see some of the ex examples in the booth that you have here. Yeah, yeah. So we stand in the shoes of uh, our clients. Our solution can be customized to each client's special needs. This conference, and at the moment, we're hearing a lot about AI. Where do you think the future of AI is, particularly with these products? Actually, speaking of the future, I think AI is quite a hot topic. It will deliver superior conference and office experience beyond our imagination. It can be a meeting assistant, maybe, or even a decision maker. It might Ooh. be like an upgrade from the idea yeah, hub yeah, to yeah, the next yeah. level. Yeah. Maybe a decision maker who can uh, solve the very complex issues much faster and much smarter than anyone else. Thank you very much. I look forward to exploring more. Thank yeah. you for your time. Thank you. Well, thank so you. tiny behind this absolutely gigantic display. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of some of the functionalities and features that I've showcased. If you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Kwan from Jitex and the Huawei booth. Peace and blessings.